closing market comments for Tuesday, November the 10th. Today was report day and it was an exciting one. Corn came out with the yield at 175.8. That's below the guess of 177.7 and 178.4 in the October estimate. Corn production was at 14.507 billion bushels. That's down from the guess of 14.659 and the guess in October of 14.722. And the final carryout on corn was a shocking number of 1.702 billion bushels. That's 148 million below the lowest guess of the estimate. It's 200 or 330 below the average guess and 465 below the October number. So very bullish numbers in corn. Soybeans came out with a yield of 50.7, below the low end of the range at 50.8, below the average guess of 51.6, and below the October estimate of 51.9. Soybean production at 4.170 billion bushels, again below the lowest end of the estimate. Uh, total production in November was supposed to be 4.251, and in October 4.268. Carry out on beans dropped of 190 million, a low end of the range on the estimates, 45 below the, the average guess, and 100 million below the October number. So very bullish numbers across the complex in both corn and soybeans. So the markets rallied. Beans were up over 45 cents at one time today. Uh, corn was up uh, tw 29 cents at one point today, just or 19 cents, I'm sorry, 19 cents. So a very strong day in the markets. We closed the day with corn up 15 and beans up 39. So a very strong day in the markets. New crop numbers were also stronger. So very good day. In the world numbers, no real big surprises there. They dropped the Ukraine corn crop by 8 million metric tons to 28.5. The Russian corn crop to 14 million metric tons down one. They dropped the world corn stocks to 291.4. That's down 9.1 billion or million metric tons. They dropped the soybean stocks in the world to 86.5. That's down from 88.7 in October and 95.3 from last year. Unchanged on the Brazilian crop, 2.5 lower on the Argentine bean crop. So you can see the numbers in the world were not a, a, any big surprises there, a little bit friendly also. But again, a very strong report on the U.S. numbers and has the markets very strong today. So we'll have to see whether we can continue this rally tomorrow or not. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.